Right, in this video we're going to look at strings and springs and also the idea of Hooke's Law. A string which does not stretch when under tension is called inextensible. Strings and springs which stretch are said to be elastic. So there's two key words there, inextensible and elastic. Open coil springs can also be compressed. Consider the diagrams below. Here we have three different situations. Here we have case one. Case one is when there is no force is applied to is applied, then the length is called the natural length of the spring. So this length here is called the natural length. In case two, the spring is pulled this way. Therefore, we have what's known as an extension, and the forces will be inwards to whatever end that is attached. And this is called a tension here. So the tension's pulled the spring, and we have an extension to the spring. Okay, and the arrows here indicate the direction of the tension. So this is case two. When str stretch, the increase in length is called an extension and the spring exerts an inward force or tension on whatever is attached to the ends. Now, you can also, if you've got a coiled spring, you can also push it inwards, and this is called a compression, so the natural length will be reduced. Okay, and the force here, the thrust here, is actually outwards, so it's pointed in the opposite direction to the case 2 here. So the arrows are pointing outwards. So case 3... When compressed, the decrease in length is called a negative extension or a compression, and the spring exerts an outward force or thrust on its ends. Now, in these two cases, if you release the spring from its force, it should return to its natural length. Okay, and then we come on to this very important idea, what's known as Hooke's Law, which was named after Robert Hooke. And this is what the law says. Is this is a fundamental law that is applied to elastic strings or sp springs. It states that the tension, T, in the string is directly proportional to the extension of the spring. And you can carry out an experiment to show this is true. As a formula, it is written as T is equal to lambda, which is a constant, which we'll talk about in a minute, times X, the length of the extension, times the natural length of, divided by the natural length of the spring or string. So where X is the extension of the string, L is the natural length, and lambda is a constant called the modulus of elasticity, of the spring and that's measured in newtons forgive my pronunciation there note though if you keep increasing the tension so that when the spring is released the spring does not return to its natural length then the spring has passed what's known as its elastic limit okay so this law will no longer apply okay so this has been an introduction to elastic strings and springs and the idea of Hooke's Law.